last but not least, we now have to set up the Outlook delegates. This is primarily if you are using Outlook to access your Exchange mailboxes. So if you're using a CDO mapping interface, by now you should be up and running. Uh, we don't require any reinstallation because if you succeeded on step one and two with MAPI, then uh, step three should be not necessary. But if you need to do step three uh, and MAP is not working, you have to reinstall MAPI. Now, if you are using Outlook as your interface to access your Exchange mailboxes, now you have to set up delegate mailboxes. And delegate mailboxes are allow or a special type of mailbox it allows you to access multiple exchange mailboxes from one outlook profile makes it easy to manage makes it easy to interface to and makes it accessible to one two three synchronizer of course you need to have the correct permission on the exchange to do that so what do uh, delegate mailboxes provide you you can see here on the left hand side we have test 9 and exchange folders. You can see the, the folders uh, below it uh, uh, that are open that are accessible on the exchange server. Under the same list of folders we have Chris Huffman's folders that are basic, that are accessible through the same Outlook interface. If you're running on a host of the Exchange environment, you may be required to run Outlook as your interface. Depending on how the login mechanism is to Exchange environment, you may have to run Outlook as your, as your interface. But it's no problem because we support both. So how do you set up Outlook delegates? You go to the Windows Control Panel and you start the mail utility. On the mail utility there's one option called the email accounts. Once you click on the email accounts you get the listing of email accounts and click on the exchange account that you use because you only have you only can only have one exchange account so click on that and click on the change button. Once you get to the change button click on the more uh, settings uh, button that will actually provide a more access to the features uh, on um, on exchange on the setup once you click on the more settings you then are provided with a couple of options the options that you want is the advanced options and by pressing on the add button of the advanced options you can then add you can add these mailboxes to your list of accessible mailboxes from Outlook. It's an easy way and very and it's quite straightforward. Once you've done it once, it always works. The key part is always make sure that you have the correct exchange permissions to do that because even though it will allow you to add the mailbox, it will not allow you to look at it if you do not have the correct permissions.